Um, let's see what else. Well, we're a minute and ten. Let's see. I'm, I'm wrapping this up, I swear. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm going to be porting into Altera. I've just heard a, a lot of good things about Altera, so I'm really excited about learning a new technology. I was actually not excited about it before, and I was actually not going to do it, but um, I just decided to go for it, and um, I'm really excited about it. So, um, Let's see what else. Uh... I think that's I think that's pretty much it. Um, maybe I'll show you some some test ROMs here. Uh, I don't remember some of these. I hope these still work. <laughs> I'm making this video and then the stuff doesn't work. That would be funny. Uh, that I think never works. I don't know that it will work on any emulator if I remember correctly. Um, APU is not going to work because it's not complete and I don't know that it actually does work at all um, so IO ports I don't have the second player controller hooked up so uh, this is pretty cool A and B don't work for some reason I don't know why that is but maybe it never worked I'm not sure anyways um, exit yeah uh, let's see what else. Show you something else here. Kevtris. This is Nest Test. Uh, let's see. Run all tests. And then I'm not going to run these because that'll freeze up my CPU. And actually, well, actually, I'll do it for you. Now these are these are uh, um, uh, unofficial or I don't know what the word what the proper word to use is undocumented or whatever instructions so when I hit start on this you're actually gonna see over here it's gonna give you the you know unknown opcode error so I'm gonna start that and so see it and what happens if uh, unknown opcode error I'm glad I did that because I just remembered if it gets an unknown opcode error the GUI will immediately send a system reset to the emulator so that it doesn't go completely insane and you know at this point it's already lost its mind so um, the GUI just sends a system reset uh, to the emulator so that you can be on your merry way and try a different ROM. Um, that one I already tried. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I'm just picking stuff at random here. Um, I don't remember what some of these do. So, branch basics. Well, I don't know what it did, but I passed. Uh, <laughs> I used to know what all these did, but I've been away from the hardware for so long. Um, well, no pass, so that's good. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm considering uh, um, maybe letting some people get their hands on the the Bitstream and the GUI application and have some people test it out. Um, uh, it would be a bit difficult because I'm only targeting one particular Sonic's development board right now. Um, I'll probably give it some more thought once I uh, finish porting the entire design and have it running on Altera. Um, uh, since people are much more likely to have Altera boards um, rather than Xilinx Vertex 5 boards, which I think I said earlier is what I'm using now because Xilinx Vertex devices are <laughs> insanely expensive. Um, so Although certainly Vertex 5 is going to be coming down in price since they've already got Vertex 7 out. So, um, But uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm done. Um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, and I certainly hope that it recorded okay because <laughs> I hope I didn't just spend an hour and 50 minutes of my time for absolutely nothing. Um, but I'm actually, I'm pretty much, I'm done with the GUI. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to show you is, so the ROM data right now, I have it, I think right now I have it storing it to SRAM, and Dragon Warrior 4 is the, I think it's the largest, or, like, I think the, I think Dragon Warrior 4 and, what is the name of that one, I think Metal Slater Glory is, uh, the other, like, super large game, um, I think those are the two biggest Nintendo games in existence. Dragon Warrior 4 was 
Um, I actually have the of the cartridge sitting right over on the floor over there. That's my favorite Nintendo game um, of all time. That's just me. I just like role playing games, and Dragon Warrior Four was always my favorite. Um, but uh, it can run the largest games. It can't run Metal Slater Glory because I think that's MMC Five, and I don't have that one. Impl I don't have that mapper impl implemented yet, um, so it actually won't run. Um, oh, and if you try and upload a ROM that has an unsupported mapper, it'll tell you, "Hey, this mapper is not supported by the emulator. Um, please try again." <laughs> um, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. And that's another thing. I don't know if I mentioned this, but for the emulator status pane, um, it'll tell you exactly what mappers are are legal to to upload a ROM for. Um, so so you just start this and make sure this all works here. Uh, so yeah, I, I played this game for a while too. Um, it all runs fine. I've never had the emulator, just like I said, never had it just for you. So I think it's pretty solid, the foundation that I have right now. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be working on is the the audio, the APU, the audio core. Um, like I said, I have the DMC implemented. I really want to get the other channels implemented. So I think the DMC is by far the hardest. Um, and I really want to <laughs> find it. It'll be nice to finally have correct sound coming out of my emulator because I'm here tired of hearing all these weird you know I, I have like some some simple little filler code for the other four channels but uh um it it that was just to see if I could get any kind of beeps or blips out of the AC ninety seven codec that's on the development board. And it and it does work. It just it totally doesn't sound right. Which is the reason I'm not even gonna bother recording uh recording it in this video. So and I think that's pretty much it. Let me make sure that I went over everything because I don't want to have to edit it and tack on stuff um, later on. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm curious to see what images you. Wow, that is a big piece. That's cool. Shows the battery and everything. That's really neat. Um, and you, I'm not sure what that is. It should have said that. I wonder if. The NESCAR database website reported back some some empty image or something. I'm not sure why. That's the only reason I could think of for that. But anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. I don't think there were any other um, games that I wanted to show you. Um, B52. Um, it's a pretty fun game. This has some glitches in it, uh, but it does work. It requires pretty accurate timing, if I remember correctly, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to... It's actually a really cute game, I'll just be honest. It's a pretty cute game. Um, you're essentially this bee and you have to collect this honey and not get killed in the process. Um, and you get the honey by going to these flowers. But you can see the glitches. Well, I don't know, the glitches go so fast that I'm not sure that that you can see it um, depends on how fast the Camtasia is recording from my anyways um, just let that go um, yeah I think that's it I don't really have any other uh, things I wanted to show you but basically it works and it's pretty solid and I can play you know, 90% of games. Um, my MMC3 mapper is not 100% yet, but uh, it works most of the time. Um, pretty good. Um, I guess I can show you... Uh, I'll show you Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 runs pretty good, actually, but uh, eventually it, <laughs> it freaks out and freezes. Um, so... Uh, I'll show that to you really quick. Um, I think I'm, like I said, I think I'm pretty much done with the GUI for now. And uh, I'm probably not going to mess with it. I mean, there's things that I want to add, but I'm pretty much done with it. It does, it serves its purpose, and 
uh, um, I probably won't mess with it for a while. So uh, this is almost done. I'll just end with Super Mario 3. A little bit from Mario 3 and I'll I'll pick out some of the glitches in there for you. Um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully the Camtasia catches it. Uh, um, let's see what images we have. Box text. Oh yeah, we got box text for this one. Um, yeah. So let's see. So we'll start. It runs pretty good. Um, it just eventually freaks out. So so see these glitches in here? That's not right. Again, I'm. This could be. It could be one of you know many things uh, could be the CPU could be the APU could be um, timing in the PPU bug in the PPU it could be any number of things um, but uh, but for the most part, it works. It's it's at least good enough to you know do some debugging and stuff. Um, but I really want to get audio uh, in here. Um, actually, we'll show you one more game after this. Um, I think I'm pretty much done with that. So you can see it, it works pretty good. Um, Journey to Silius, which was one of my favorite games ever. Um, it's it has like, I think a lot of people would would agree that it has possibly the best audio, um, music and um, sound effects of any Nintendo game. Um, there's another game I can't think of the name of right now, but uh, that also had some really good music and sound effects. But Journey to Elias is one of the best. I think most people would agree. This, you see, there you go. <laughs> this game has a major, major problems, um, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. It'd be interesting to fire up the CPU logger. Um, I think it's totally hosed. It was actually letting me press the. Yeah, it's hosed. Now it depends. I don't. I don't know what it is, but sometimes when I load it, I can actually get it to to play for a little while. Um, I'm hoping that I can do that really quick right now because I wanted to show you one funny little bug. Yeah. Come on, come on. There we go. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he falls through the floor. Did you see that? <laughs> um. Oh, hey, cool. Wow, it started me at some checkpoint. <laughs> oh my gosh, it started me at the end of the game. That's awesome. <laughs> or the the end of the, the level. Um, but yeah, he falls through the floor. I mean, that I mean that almost has to... See what he just did there? I wasn't even pressing any buttons. I, that has to be a CPU bug. I mean, it has to be, I think. I don't know how that could be a PPU bug, but I don't know. I'm sure there's some things I'm not considering. But um, anyways, that's it. I promise, that's it now. I'm going to go. I hope that you enjoyed the video and um I'll see I'll see you guys around. Um I'm usually on the Nest Dev forums um asking questions. <laughs> and I'll probably be asking a lot more um pretty soon here once I get back to the the audio core so. But um I think that's it and I will see you guys later.